good evening, you guys. This is the Pretty Coach here. Um, and I'm coming to bring the Pretty Coach Oracle messages. These messages will be for the Divine Feminine. I was led to do a Divine Feminine reading. Um, I was led to pull the cards yesterday. At least these main cards. And then I pulled these today from the General Tarot. I'm going to hop into these messages. I'm calling in my warrior ancestors, my righteous warrior ancestors for protection um, as I begin to open myself up as a channeler. I call in my righteous ancestors and my strong angels to give me accurate information and insight for our highest good and the highest good of all who are connected to me at this time. And I call forth information from my higher self and every so be it and so shall it be. The overall energy that I got was the card of playfulness. Playfulness. And it says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Allow your inner spirit, or excuse me, your, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, what I feel and what I sense is that within the divine feminine energy, some of us may be too serious about something. Like, shit, to be honest, some of us could be taking the whole connection entirely too seriously to where we can't even enjoy ourselves um, or our partner. And mind you, that's whether we are energetically with them only or with them in the physical. Okay? The next part that came out bottom of the deck for the tarot, we have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is a card of retreat. It is a card of rest, relaxation, solitude even. And in that time of being alone and in solitude, having time to think. Okay. Um, this could be an energy that the Divine Feminine is in herself. Or this could be for the Divine Master, or a mixed person, too. Okay. Last but not least, as for our affirmation today, the overall energy for the affirmation comes from the Golden Topaz. And it says, do you need to recapture your personal power? Your personal power. This is not about us trying to speak life into the divine masculine. This is about us. Okay. Um, it says, surround yourself with people who recognize your talents, intelligence, creativity, kindness, and thoughtfulness. Their appreciation will amplify your goodness. Share your inner wisdom and beauty because it is time to reclaim and amplify your personal power. And the Archangel that's associated with this crystal is Archangel Jophiel. And here is the affirmation. I am a shining star. I focus on all my good attributes and amplify them. I see my path shining brightly before me. And I have the courage to step forward with joy and enthusiasm. I help others as I radiate my magnificence. So I feel like some of you guys in this walk may be literally putting yourselves on the back burner. You may literally be feeling like, oh, you know, I can't be my best self without my partner. Because you may feel like, no, in order to do this work, I need my partner. I need my help. And that's just simply not true. It's simply not true. Give me a moment, you guys. I'm going to go check on my baby. And I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So basically, I was talking about the energy of the fact that we are shining stars within ourselves and that we don't need to, um, basically that we needed to reclaim ourselves. I feel we need to reclaim 
your identity um, and step into that because in stepping into that or, or, or that you need to re-identify yourself you know that you need to um, come up with another version of yourself one that you are proud of one where you do shine because some of the divine feminines if you ask me um, some of them aren't operating in that energy they're trying to hide and if they're not trying to, they're so focused upon the, the fact that maybe they feel they don't have their masculine or their man in their life or their woman vice versa in their life that they're not they're not being um, their best selves. Right? So this is Spirit's urge to tap back into our own personal power and to recognize our magnificence and that realizing when we do that, when we honor ourselves in that way, um, then we also give other people permission to honor themselves in their ways. Okay, so hopping into more of the reading, um, I asked Spirit what, what messages they have for us and basically what was the heart of the matter, and I got four cards. The first card that came out was deception. It says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I mean, we are talking about the divine feminine here, so it is very possible that it is the divine feminine who's wearing a false self mask. Yes, it can go both ways as we're connected, but this is about the divine mask, divine feminine, excuse me, or the woman in this situation, to me, or the male for that matter, who is the divine feminine. Somebody's not being real with themselves, being honest. I think somebody is lying to themselves as well. The next part that came out is trust. Someone could very well be lying to themselves because they're not in the trusting business right now. They're not trusting. And so because there's a lack of trust of the divine, a lack of trust of the spirit, a lack of trust of the process, um, someone's lying to themselves about what they're doing, you know, how they are being their best selves and, and how they are doing all that they can do, but that's not true. It says, this situation is calling for you to have faith. For those of you who may feel like, oh, I can't be my best self, or I can't do the things that I feel I am meant to do um, without my partner, I feel like that is bullshit. That's a lie. That's deception. You are deceiving yourself in thinking that way. And I would also venture to say that you are not trusting spirit to bring you two together in divine in perfect timing. So you're stagnated and you're unhappy and you're discontent. We're going to tap into these energies a little bit. Why is the deception card here? Show me the energies for the divine feminine around the deception card, please. Give it to us straight, though. Chase it also very quickly. We have the king of swords energy here. This could be an energy of being callous or cold, mean. Know, maybe an energy of trying to think rationally. This also could be the masculine or the male in this energy who's like this. Aquarius is standing out to me. Libra and of course Gemini. So please give me some more about this, please. This could also have something to do with legal matters. 
something with police or lawyers, law enforcement. All right, we got two cards falling out, and they are the Page of Cups and also the Page of Wands in the reverse. There is, there may have been a discussion where somebody was talking to someone, and the truth behind the discussion and someone just expressing their feelings is there is a lack of inspiration, there's a lack of enthusiasm, there is a lack of fire. And that youthful playfulness and that youthful energy and excitement, it is gone. Or it's very, very, very low. I feel like somebody may feel uninspired. When it comes to creativity, when it comes to taking action towards those creative opportunities, someone is feeling a lack of inspiration, a lack of direction. And, you know, we did talk about that. Spirit, anything more about this before I move on to the trust part? Yeah, there's something more. This is that energy of feeling like you cannot get busy. You can't get to work. Some of you guys may even feel like you don't have the, the skill set, but the Eight of Pentacles is such a beautiful card because it's a card, especially in the upright, it is suggesting that you do have the skill set. It is suggesting that um, you have what it takes to really create buzz about yourself, recognition about yourself, in whatever respect of field work that you decide to go into or that you're called to. Spirit, let's move on to the trust card. Why is the trust card here? Please give me the energy surrounding that. Energy surrounding the trust card. We have the Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy, being very cautious, Virgo energy here. Um, maybe even a need to get somewhat organized. This could have something, yeah, look, because of some form of confusion, maybe even heartbreak here, like you thinking about this relationship and this connection and that maybe it's not in the conditions that you feel like it should be, okay? It's causing you to be fogged mentally. And that's what's taking you so damn long to move. And that's why you're not moving because you're heartbroken. I feel like your focal point is this situation. And whatever it looks like, it looks like it's taking a long time to happen. For some of you, you may fear that it won't. And you have this irrational and immature um energy surrounding it like you don't try because no like i'm scared with this page of pentacles in reverse this is capricorn taurus or virgo energy this is that being childish like energy it's almost like because things aren't going the way that the divine feminine may desire that it go she he or she is being childish they're being stubborn they're like oh this is never going to work out for me then because it's not working right now it's not working in the time frame that I want it to work, so it's never going to pan out for me. And I don't know what's going on, and I'm so confused, and I don't know what to do. And I want to be healed. I want to be healed. I want to be set free. I do feel like that is coming, and that that's what you need to trust. You need to trust that it's coming with the Six of Cups and the Star card here. I feel like... Um, there could be some emotional energies from your childhood that are going to be healed first and foremost. But then this could also deal with a past life partner or a soulmate who could come in to heal you guys. Could be in the form of friends or a romantic partnership here. And for others, this is about like, you know, your divine partner could be someone who is an ex, someone who you've been with before. And when they come in, that is going to be answer prayers, wish fulfillment here. And you need to trust. That spirit will do it in divine timing, but it won't happen a moment before. All right, spirit, why is the separation card here? The next two cards we had was separation, and it is safe for you to love. <clears throat> and the message that I specifically got about those two cards before I turned, before I turned on the court button is that even if you are in separation, it's safe for you to love your person. Even if you two are not physically together, but you are energetically connected, it's safe for you to love them. Okay?
for others of you, this is an energy about the fact that some of you guys may have to go into separation. You may have to separate from someone who may not be your partner, okay? But, um, and then after separating, realizing and being open to love still. And honestly, in all the forms that love can take on, like family, like friendship, like that of strangers, like that of some, you know, being passionate about a cause, but just showing your heart, you know? Okay, the first card out for separation, we have the Magician card here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I mean, Aries, sorry, maybe it is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but notably Aries or Taurus energy here. Some of you guys could literally be manifesting separation. I have got a lot of energy to just flip over here. A lot of energy. All right, we've got the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and we've got the Three of Cups. So if you ask me, to me, this is manifesting possibly a reunion here. Manifesting a reunion. How, though? To me, through intuition, through nurturing yourself and maybe others, through operating in your spiritual and psychic gifts. I'm hearing self-care and self-love, but also perseverance. Being valiant, standing strong, though there's some pain, though there's some heartache, though you may be unsure, just standing valiantly, you will experience joy Something to celebrate, something to smile and be happy about. Reconciliation for a lot of you. That's beautiful. So another understanding now with these cards coming out is that separation will be ending for some of us. And spirit could be letting us know that it is going to be safe for us to love this person. Once the reconciliation, you know, comes back. I've got first out with this card, even though it didn't show itself. We have the Four of Swords. It's like there needed to be this pause. There needed to be this break. There needed to be this break because somebody was carrying all the fucking weight. Someone had the responsibility on them, or at least bare minimum, they felt this way. For others of you, this break has caused somebody to desire to take on the responsibility, to desire to put in work. It is safe to love card. What is this about? Some more, please. Knight of Swords coming in. Conversation, plan being made, maybe. Swift action. Let's make the second card what the swift action is going to be in regards to. It's the Nine of Cups. It's the Nine of Cups. Now, the Nine of Cups did come up in the reverse, which could be like sometimes an energy of selfishness, overindulgence. But I feel like what someone's been overindulging in with this Knight of Swords here is thinking, just thinking so many different ideas about what could happen and how. So maybe overthinking, overindulging overindulging in thought. We have the five of swords. More planning energy to me. But maybe to a point to where it's obsessive. This could be an energy maybe even of negotiations that are, um, you know, someone's really trying to get the upper hand in something. If there are arguments, you know, and if someone is feeling as if someone has been selfish or is being selfish,
they can feel that someone's trying to get the upper hand or trying to be controlling or trying to be manipulative. This could have been past energy or current, it just depends. The hanging man. This is about being still, this is about recovery. I feel like someone's mind is being changed and healed in that moment of stillness, in that period of downtime. Yeah, we've got the four of wands. It is safe to love. After a period of separation, if you ask me, and a period of being still for the purpose of receiving and hearing from spirit, um, there's going to be a coming together, bare minimum, whether this is a new person for some of the divine feminines or this is the person, whomever is on your heart, mind. You guys will cohabitate together. You will live together. Sorry for hitting the mic. You'll live together. You'll have a family. You'll establish something. Some of you guys can move into an apartment together, a house together. This will be karma. This will be dharma. A balancing of the scales. I'm feeling marriage. Period. A healthy marriage with the temperance card. A marriage where a lot of patience will be able to be exuded. Understanding, harmony, and peace here. Fulfillment as well. But it won't come a moment before we learn these lessons, you guys. So, yeah, moving on. We do have the Queen of Cups here and the Eight of Wands. So this really made me feel as though there's going to be some quick action. Like I'm, I'm feeling like once someone taps into this really divine feminine energy, the nurturer, loving, caring, self-care for yourself or whatever, beautification, you know, of oneself. It's like once you step into that energy, nurturing, using your psychic and spiritual gifts, once you step into that energy, there's going to be a lot of things that move around you and on behalf of you. Let's see what that's going to be about, shall we? Here, what? What is this? Oh, for the temperance card, I heard union. I just heard union. What is this Queen of Cups and the Eight of Wands here for spirit? Please show me the details for this quickly. All right, we have the seven of wands. So that's kind of being defensive, fighting for something, judgment, a decision, standing for what you believe in. So standing for a decision, a decision to free yourself, a decision to liberate yourself, a decision to move forward. To come out of maybe indecisiveness. If that's not your energy, that could be the divine masculine. And to create a lifestyle that we desire with the Empress energy. A new life, a rebirth, or a birth in. Coming out of that energy of feeling like, oh, I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. And then making plans for some people. For others, this could be something that is somewhat deceptive or deceptive communication. There could have been someone who you had a conversation with, Divine Feminine, who was trying to assist you spiritually in preparing yourself or in, you know, helping you to understand another perspective on how you could carry yourself at this time. And you could have been very guarded and defensive with this person. And the conversations, the things that you were talking about, you could have been lying to yourself here with the seven of wands, lying to yourself. Some of you guys could be lying to yourself, saying that you're actually ready for the connection and you're not because you're not even standing in your power. You're not even taking control of your own life. You're not making decisions that you need to. You're not able to even move forward like this chariot card could potentially indicate. 
And that's because you're not in that golden topaz energy. You're not in your power because you're mulling over this broken heart that you feel like you have and all this confusion. Some of you guys aren't listening to people when they tell you to focus on yourself. Moving on. The next row of cards we have here is the victory card with the six of wands, elevation, influence. A beautiful card if you ask me to have. Following that card is the strength card, which is that courage energy. That's also to me that energy of standing in your personal power. And you have the four of cups. The way that I understand this is that I feel that someone's coming out of the four of cups energy. Someone's coming out of this contentment because they're going to tap into their power. And it will give them courage. It will give them strength. And in doing that, they're going to level up. Somebody could feel like, oh, I'm not really sure what to do. I feel like I'm missing something. Something is missing. As soon as you get your lower self in alignment with your higher self, the victory is going to come. Here, why is the Four of Cups here? Show me the energy surrounding the Four of Cups, please. I'm going to hurry up with this because I want to I want to be very close to being done. We have the three of pentacles. So it's just this energy of not something not cooperating or not being together in cooperation. We have the queen of pentacles, which is wife energy, wifing energy for me. So because somebody feels like they're not able to be in their role of wife or manager of some sort of a project. This is why they're discontent, why they're um, unhappy. They feel like they are in suspense. They feel like I have been waiting. How long, oh Lord, do I have to continue to wait? Show me the strength energy, please. Show me the strength detail. What are what is this person gonna have to do in order to tap into to get their lower self and their higher self into life? What is this? I feel as though somebody is, you know, mulling over investments that they've made and they're feeling like maybe their investments yielded a poor result and therefore this is aiding in their stagnation. I also feel like somebody needs to be investing in, in, in order to move forward. Somebody needs to exude maybe some form of patience as well. Someone's being impatient and this is also what's keeping something from moving forward first and foremost themselves. And then maybe even the connection. Anything more about the strength of the here before I move on? King of Cups. King of Cups. Tap into your creativity. For some of you, somebody is hiding feelings. They're not being honest and genuine about the way that they truly feel even though they feel very, very, very deeply. And it's a lot of love. But they could be holding this back from someone. If it's about creative endeavors, you're withholding creative energy. And I would endeavor to say because the focal point is wrong. Spirit, why is the six of wands here, please? Five of wands. Conflict energy. Give me more about this, please. More details, quickly. And the story. Ten of Pentacles. Fighting for increase. Fighting for increase financially, emotionally. Fighting to overcome grief. To overcome depression. So the way that you're going to find success, the way that you are going to level up is if, as soon as you, um, I feel, focus on yourself, okay, the conflict that's within you, and the grief and the depression that you can feel could be gone. King of Pentacles, that's the husband energy, that's the... Masculine energy to me, that's the energy of business, being business savvy, okay? I feel like some of you guys need to focus on your business. And in focusing on your business, this 
is also how you're going to level up. You could be a very wise person when it comes to business. Emperor, yeah, regaining control. Somebody regaining control. It's like the Empress and the Emperor on the table, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. I'm feeling the energy of you guys are going to get it together, but it's going to take somebody, the feminine, tapping into their power. Taking responsibility. Taking control of their lives and their family. Moving on. Period. And then we have, last but not least, the Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, which I really feel are very self-explanatory. But I'm going to do them anyway. I feel like this is the energy of, you know, a new proposal, a new beginning, something very solid, secure, stable, and not in the sense that, um, you know, things can't crumble, but more so in the sense that you guys are going to be solid when you get back together with one another, or when you um, meet your person for the first time, it's going to be solid, solid like a rock. So why is the four of, all right, I'm seeing the eight of cups. This is walking away for, from what's no longer serving us. Excuse me, why is the Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles here? This is the Fool card in reverse. So either someone's going to take a leap of faith, a risk, or this could be the fact that someone will take a risk, but it might be an unwise decision. Or somebody is going to walk away from something else or someone else they were investing in that they see as an unwise decision. And maybe come to offer this and themselves elsewhere. This love, this, you know, desire for a connection. Eight of Wands. Mm -mm -mm. This could be connected to this energy up here with the Queen of Cups and the Judgment. Someone is making a decision. And it's going to happen. It might seem all of a sudden. It might seem all of a sudden. But here, please give me a little bit more about this. Ace of Pentacles energy. Yeah. Ace of Wands. A new passionate beginning to someone who has taken action. And the action that if you ask me, if you ask me that they're taking is to come back together or to come together towards union. Passionate union. You guys are going to be making love and shit as well. I feel like the Kundalini is going to be awakened. I've got the King of Wands and the Knight of Cups coming out. Guys, somebody's going to be tapping into their Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius energy, plus their Cancer, Scorpio, and Piscean energy. They're coming with all the feels. I do believe there will be a conversation. Apologies. And if not, just, just being honest about feelings. Okay? And look. That person is discontent too, or they were before they come back to you. So there's an energy that, you know, mirroring bottom of the deck now, because I am done here. It is the four of pentacles. I feel like you guys have both been holding on to each other. And also this could be an energy of wanting to establish something, saving something. You guys could decide to, you know, establish a joint bank account. Work together to fund yourself. Be intentional about your investments. And that's both spiritually, emotionally, and or financially, okay? That has been the reading for the Divine Feminine. Oh, I'm sorry. I have one more card. Sorry, guys. Almost the Divine. Almost the end. Here we go. It said, this is the Laramar card. This is our affirmations for this energy. It says, do you have an affinity with dolphins? Have you found that you feel so much better after spending time at the seashore? Well, it's time to spend some time by the ocean. Connect with the healing, salty energy of the seawater and its cleansing properties in order to be in order to support your health, both physically and emotionally. And here is the Archangel associated with it is Archangel Thuriel. And the affirmation says this. I breathe in life completely. I am in touch with my emotions. It is easy for me to relax 
into the ebb and flow of life. I am balanced, whole, and that's not only for the divine feminine, but that's for the divine masculine as well. That's for the both of you guys. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys have been wanting to get to the water um, or if you're masculine, when you guys come back together, that's something you guys decide to do or that when you come back together or have this conversation that they let you know that they went to the water and it was while they were at the water, they received a lot of the downloads or information um, that led them back, okay, or that led them to you. Peace, love, light, and darkness, which works to bring peace, balance, and harmony first within ourselves and then within our world. It's the Pretty Coach with the Pretty Coach Oracle Messages, and I am signing off. Bye bye now. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, before I go, I also want to let you guys know that I am offering spiritual coaching sessions and also consulting sessions. Um, if that's something that you might be interested in, please um, go to thepreettycoach.com. All right, you guys. Bye.